So, Alex, this apparently hawkish turn by the Fed uh, in its December minutes, uh, does it come as any particular surprise to you? Is it causing you to, to change your outlook at all? Well, certainly we, we already saw the turn in the, in the dots on the release. But we did see somewhat of a slight surprise. But I think the balance sheet run off, as, as was just highlighted, was a surprise in terms of picking up the speed of that, what we see as a transition from QE to, to possibly to, to QT, uh, and as well just the debate around earlier liftoff of rates. So a slight surprise, yes. But I think when you look at their mandate and look at, well, yes, they've achieved the inflation uh, mandate, and then you look at the labor market, and the labor market is quite tight. Uh, so you can see that they have achieved their mandate. So it does make sense. And we think that a few hikes with real rates still being quite low and likely to remain quite low is still a broadly accommodative backdrop. Yeah, the growth picture looks reasonably good, inflation continuing to rise. So with, the, with that in mind, uh, which particular sectors are you positive on at the moment? Uh, we're positive. We're positive on uh, broadly on DM versus EM and sectors wise, sector wise, we like industrials, we like financials. We expect we expect yields to continue to rise over two percent for the ten year um, by year end. Uh, we also so for that reason we like financials and we're also looking at in, further infrastructure investment, supply chains uh, clearing up a bit, so input costs coming down, uh, and just further recovery in corporate capex, which should further boost industrials. So so broadly we like industrials, like financials, and we we, we think that we're uh, we're going to see a strong recovery uh, continue uh, in this year, and so we expect earnings to be slightly above where consensus is at. Does that recovery also include China? Because of course we have seen that massive sell-off in tech stocks and the rest of the stock market. Is there. We do favor DM versus EM. So we like US, we like Europe, we, we like Japan. Uh, we still see some risks broadly to EM. With China, we are much more selective. We, we like onshore A shares uh, broadly because we, we see the early signs of some easing, not large easing, but some easing, which should help onshore equities. Offshore, we're, we're still cautious on. Uh, we still don't see much clarity with regards to with regards to earnings. Uh, sentiment is still relatively weak, and and the, the broad growth outlook for China as well uh, is likely with further risks to the downside.